Hey guys, welcome to a late night edition of J Lake 3D. Uh, as you can see, I'm a little bit hungry, so I decided to draw a little ice cream here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it as well. So it's not going to look exactly the same, but very similar. Let's go ahead and hide this for now. And we're going to choose the front plane up here on the box. And uh, we're going to draw a line in the center, 120 millimeters, for example, just to get a size down. And then we're going to draw a line across here. Let's do 50 millimeters. And then another line here. Let's do actually 40. All right, and then we're gonna draw a 45 degree line going this way. And another line going down and then just down here, okay? Then we need to separate it into sections and we could do that by drawing a line there. So we find our center line here. And then we wanna separate this into centers as well. And the easiest way is to draw another line here and the line here so we have that center. So we can use the sketch as a reference point on all those occasions. And now let's go ahead and draw a circle. Let's make each of these four millimeters. And obviously I've planned ahead a little bit since I've already done it and I'm showing you the steps. But once you do this, it will help you understand how to do it later. So. We also need to do one more thing is draw another circle here, make it four as well, but we need to rotate this circle by 90 degrees and move it away by however long this line is. So this line is 35 millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and select that circle and move it away by 35 millimeters. Okay, and you will see why in a little bit, but Actually, we can even start with that. So we can get this and right away extrude this, make it like that. Okay. Now we want to revolve this body right here. So what we can do to save ourselves a little bit of extra work, we can just trim a couple of these lines to make it more or less connected. And we can actually even trim these ones. All right, and then uh, we don't need to worry about those little other ones because what we need to do now is go to Tools and Revolve. We select the shape, and as long as it selects the whole thing, you're good to go. Okay, so now we revolve it around that central line, and I think you're starting to see where it's going. All right, um, next thing we need to do before we add complexity to the model is we need to shell it. We're going to do it by two millimeters. So now that we've shelled it, I like to switch the colors. So let's switch the colors just so we can enjoy working with it. There we go. Okay. Now what we need to do is smooth some of these edges. And usually I would recommend leaving this up to the end of the model. But in this case, we already know this is pretty much the end. Uh, we can make it look pretty already. Okay. Next, we replace the face of this top piece to match that before we continue with it. And let's go ahead and also go down a little bit, as long as it's inside the body. Okay, and uh, now we go to transform pattern, we select our body, and then we drag this uh, to the top circle so that we have a center axis. And we're going to revolve it by 360 degrees which is a complete circle. And then we just have to find out how much of these we want to make it look the way we want. Okay, so do you want 10? Do you want 12? I think 12 looks better. So now we click done. We can also fill it this edge and I'll make this one by one so you can do both sides equally. And then we go ahead and select tools union and we click and drag to get everything done. So now we have our piece and you can see these lines are added now because it's connected versus if we undo, these lines are not there because it's still not one piece. So let's redo so we have it as one piece. And now we get to add the best part. Okay, we can go ahead to the front face. We can either click the box up here or we can just double click that sketch and use it as a plane to work on, okay? Now we make a uh, little round shape 
like a half circle and then another half circle let's say start from that and go like this okay and then just draw a line here in the center and now we go tools revolve again we select that we revolve it and then we can fill it this edge to make it a little bit smoother let's do four and now we get to the best part we get to choose what flavor ice cream we like so we can choose either vanilla or we can choose chocolate or we can choose some kind of cotton candy color so up to you what ice cream you want you can do any color you like all right hope you enjoyed following along if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye here at Jay Lake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.